This may sound like a cop out, Eileen, but some of my job probs are not my fault. Lily Tomlin is an iconic American talent, boasting a rich and diverse acting career spanning over half a century. Well, she's not just an actress, she's also a comedian, accomplished writer, singer, and producer. Over her lifetime, of course, Lily has also lived in some stunning properties. Throughout her journey in the world of entertainment, Lily Tomlin has earned a handful of awards, including a remarkable seven Emmys, a coveted Grammy, and not one, but two Tony Awards, as well as many more. Her her ascent to stardom began with a bang in the realm of stand-up comedy and sketch comedy before seamlessly transitioning into the worlds of stage and screen. She had a Tony Award winning performance in the show The Search for Signs of Intelligent Life in the Universe which dazzled audiences on Broadway in 1985. Her ventures into TV including captivating specials like Lily and her enchanting voice work on the Magic School Bus have also received widespread acclaim. Lily's silver screen journey started with a bang in Robert Altman's Nashville back in 1975, propelling her to an Academy Award nomination. She continued to captivate audiences with roles in cinematic gems like All of Me, Big Business, Flirting with Disaster, and Grandma. Her dynamic collaborations with Jane Fonda in classics like 9 to 5 and the popular Grace and Frankie show have left quite the mark as well. Lily's diverse talents have endeared her to fans across the entertainment industry for a long time. But when it comes to where Lily calls home, within the enchanting and secluded Hollywood enclave of Lawland Park, is a remarkable residence, formerly renowned as the W.C. Fields Estate. This Mediterranean gem was once home to the beloved actress and comedian Lily Tomlin. Designed by William M. Clark in 1920, this magnificent mansion spans 7,450 square feet featuring four bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a ton of exquisite details. The interior here is full of stained glass, French doors, original millwork, and imported Spanish mahogany panels, graced by the warmth of four fireplaces. An elegant copper and glass sunroom adds a touch of timeless charm to this property. Meticulously restored and updated with cutting edge tech, this house is designed to blend grand scale entertaining with intimate gatherings seamlessly. Situated on nearly an acre of gently rolling land, the estate boasts a tucked away private pool. The home marries the charm of old Hollywood with old world craftsmanship combined with modern upgrades tailored for today's living. Lily ended up selling this house in 2004 to film exec Dennis Rice for $4.4 million. The property has since come back on the market with a higher $11 million price tag, but was lowered down to $7.1 million. Lawland Park, known for its privacy and gated community status, has been a cherished haven for early film stars and continues to be a magnet for prominent figures in the movie industry. And speaking of glamour and celebrity, let's now journey to Palm Springs, California. As City renowned for its opulent residences and celebrity residence where Lily herself owns another home. Lily Tomlin's former house is located in the neighborhood of Palm Springs, a city famous for its stunning views of the San Jacinto Mountains and year-round sunshine, making it quite the destination for celebs and vacationers alike. Her residence, dubbed the Lily Pad, perfectly embodies the mid-century modern architectural style that Palm Springs is well known for. Sadly, there are no photos online of the inside of her residence here, but we do know that the house boasts expansive and inviting living spaces, ideal for hosting guests or unwinding in style. The open concept design flawlessly blends the living room, dining area, and the kitchen. The home further includes an expansive patio that is an entertainer's dream. Amidst well-manicured gardens, palm trees, and the backdrop of mountains, it creates a serene and picturesque setting for outdoor gatherings or a quiet reflection. Of course, there's also an inviting swimming pool. Lily Tomlin's mid-century Palm Spring home shows her design taste as well as the allure of this iconic desert city. Now, meet Dora, a 1955 Dodge Lancer that holds a special place in Lily's heart. She acquired this vintage beauty back in 1975 when she was in search of something cool for her next car. It seems that even if one's man 
mantle is adorned with an array of Emmys, a Tony, and a Grammy, the desire for a unique, shiny addition in the driveway remains. Lily shared that vintage cars have always held a special place in her heart. During her upbringing in Detroit, a delightful date for her involved strolls to the General Motors building to marvel at the Cadillacs. It was back in 1975, while collaborating with Gene Wagner on a comedy album, that Lily stumbled upon the Dodge Royal Lancer in a newspaper, ending up paying $1,500 for it. She christened this car Dora Bannister, inspired by a character from the film Wicked Woman, which was screened during her days as an usherette at the Avalon Theater. Dora's timeless beauty became a cherished companion for countless adventures. While this all brings us to the end of today's house tour and video, Lily Tomlin's homes and investments like Dora show who the charming actress really is. But before we go, answer this question for me. What role do you think a special car like Dora Bannister could play in one's personal journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram to chat, and if you would like to take a look at some more celebrity homes before we go stay tuned for this look into the properties of jane fonda bye in 2017, after splitting from her longtime partner, actress Jane Fonda got herself a bachelorette pad in Los Angeles. The former couple sold their eco-conscious Beverly Hills mansion and Jane picked herself up a massive Mediterranean-style townhouse for over $5 million, which is where she still currently lives. From mega mansions to a New Mexico ranch, Miss Fonda's property collection is quite impressive, and today we're going to take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In 2017, after splitting from her longtime partner Richard Perry and offloading their Beverly Hills estate, Jane picked herself up her current home which serves as the ultimate breezy bachelorette pod. Located in Century City, a neighborhood on the west side of Los Angeles, Jane's current three-level home could be considered humble for a Hollywood star like herself. The crib may be labeled as a townhome, but spanning 6,679 square feet of space, it's more like a mansion. The actress's home is tucked away in a guard-gated community, and residents of the Century Woods complex have access to a variety of amenities, such as a community clubhouse, tennis courts, and indoor and outdoor swimming pools. Jane paid $5.45 million in cash for the 2015 built property, and inside there are four beds and seven baths throughout. The exterior of the tall home is charming with stucco walls and terracotta roofs, along with a fountain out front. Despite the large size of the place, it's easily accessible thanks to the elevator which services all the floors. The airy and private courtyard out front leads into the entry hall and stairway, where you'll also find the study as well as some of the common living spaces. The formal living room features a fireplace as well as a wood paneled ceiling and gray and white color scheme, and nearby there's a 12-person dining dining room. Jane's spacious kitchen and family room are open concept style, and the kitchen is arranged around a large center island with snack bar, while there's also an extra serving corner to entertain guests. The attached family room boasts plush couches and opens up to a shaded courtyard. Out on the cozy courtyard, you'll find cream-colored tiles that blend in well, along with plenty of space to lounge. Jane's grand master suite is roomy with both a fireplace and vaulted ceilings as well as two walk-in closets and a large private balcony. Her ensuite bath is spa style with a glass shower and soaking tub. The house boasts a staff or guest room with bath on the main floor with two more on the second level, all with their own balconies. Finally, there's an office media room on the third level that opens to a beautiful rooftop terrace, perfect for checking out the views and taking in that California weather. Altogether, Jane's mansion-sized townhome provides a light and airy atmosphere with comforting, neutral colors and light woods throughout. Just before Jane bought her current Century City home, she put her contemporary Beverly Hills estate up on the market. Following her split from Richard Perry, with whom she shared the mansion, the former couple decided that they would let go of the property they lived in since 2012. Considering Jane and Richard spent $7.3 million on the home and finally sold it for about $8.5 5 million in 2018, they at least turned a slight profit. The eco-conscious crib was located in the trendy and expensive
expensive Truesdale Estates, this neighborhood of Beverly Hills is a fancy community stuffed with fellow celebrities. Built in a modern style, Jane's former residence spanned 7,102 square feet of space with four beds and 6.5 baths throughout. In a video, Jane once said that she instantly knew the Beverly Hills abode was for her the second she drove through the gates and saw the sharp architectural design and shiny stainless steel garage doors. According to the actress, the home simply had taste. Another feature Jane loved inside this home was the kitchen, which opened through walls of glass to a terrace boasting amazing views. From there, you could see the canyon and the mountains, and the views reminded Jane of the Southern California setting she grew up in back in the late 30s and 40s. While the home was built in 1961, it had been majorly remodeled and stocked with updates since then, and the exteriors were decked out in wood siding with stone accents. It was set behind private gates on a lot spanning nearly an acre of land, and there were eco-friendly add-ons such as bamboo floors, bioethanol fireplaces, UV thermal glass windows, and more. This stainless steel front door opened up into the entry gallery, which had a dramatic all-glass elevator. I think that elevators seem to be a trend in Jane's properties. The home offered plenty of connected common spaces on the upper level, including a step-down living room with floor-to-ceiling stone fireplace and wall of windows. Jane's home also offered a dining room and a kitchen with walnut cabinets, fancy appliances, and much more. This space opened to a small and cozy den. Jane's one-time office was just off of this room and it boasted built-in bookshelves and windows looking out to the peaceful woods. One of the guest bedrooms, if not more, had its own terrace, while the bright master bedroom had a two-level sitting room, spacious sleeping quarters, double bathrooms, and a walk-in dressing room and closet. The lower level of the crib offered hardwood flooring and a media lounge that looked like a music studio, also with a bar and a home gym. This space opened to the private backyard, where there was a covered outdoor lounge with plush furnishings, along with open terraces and a meditation garden with fountain. The solar heated swimming pool overlooked amazing scenery and there was a nearby viewing platform with a fire pit to catch the best sunsets. Let's not forget that Jane also once owned a stunning ranch in New Mexico. Called the Forked Lightning Ranch, this was where the actress once went to escape the Hollywood bustle. She purchased the 1925 built ranch back in 2000 and renovated the property immensely, even building a main Spanish colonial style main house dubbed the River House, which spanned over 9,500 square feet of space. She listed her beautiful ranch in 2015 for $19.5 million and sold it in an off-market deal for an unknown amount. This unique property was full of character and sought on 2,300 acres of land just east of Santa Fe, right on the Picos River. It's actually next to Picos National Historical Park and the property is the middle section of what used to be a 13,000 acre cattle ranch. When Jane got her hands on the sprawling property, the only house was a two bedroom log cabin where she lived for three years while constructing her custom family mansion. Jane said about her former ranch, the moment I stepped on the property, I knew it was home. It's sheer beauty made my hair stand on end. In the living room, Jane designed the space with a carved wood chandelier that resembled elk antlers, as well as a fireplace and a set of French doors. The dining room had towering wood beam ceilings like much of the common spaces and another carved and rustic chandelier. The actress wanted to recreate the look of traditional New Mexico ranch homes, and it appears that she was successful, adding many of the classic features like adobe walls, a tin roof, antique doors, and more. The home boasted a handcrafted appearance and feel that also blended with modern features. Elsewhere in the house, there was an upstairs gallery with more antiques on display, and Jane's master suite with a headboard she designed herself, a sitting area with fireplace, more wood beam ceilings, and a vintage dressing room. So now we've taken a look at legendary actress Jane Fonda and three of her properties past and present. While each of the estates were completely different, we can tell she is quite the eye for real estate and design. Even downsizing to what's dubbed a townhome is still a stylish mansion-sized abode in the heart of LA. Out of the three properties, which did you like best? Personally, I'm a fan of that New Mexico ranch. The design was so thoughtful and unique, and it also seemed to be the most warm and welcoming out of the three. 
but that's just me. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on her homes down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should look at next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.